if Rashawn McLemore doesn't get after it offensively. Yeah, two teams that aren't very balanced. Hard to maybe identify just one star as we look at our starting lineups. First four, DePaul, their record one and two here in the early part of the season. Brandy Young, the freshman as the point guard, leading the way for Oliver Purnell's club. Jeremiah Kelly, good outside shooter. On the Northridge side, the Matadors one and three. Lenny Daniel. Maya Kelly, good outside shooter. On the Northridge side, the Matadors one and three. Lenny Daniel, different starting lineup today. The Matadors like to shake it up, and he's in the lineup today. Well, and he easily could have been the guy I could have pinpointed for Star Watch in this game because of his outstanding effort in the second half. There were times in the first half where he looked disinterested in what was going on out on the floor. Second half, he got after the glass, made a big difference. Can he carry that over from the start? DePaul and Northridge here. As we get set for the opening tip, Daniel against Devin Hill, and DePaul controls the ball first. Northridge had a lot of issues in the first half, turning the ball over against Virginia Tech yesterday. With the way that DePaul is going to pressure, they cannot come out and do the exact same thing today. Got to clean things up. Going down low to a Southern California kid, Chris Faber, finds Stovall, and he misses the short shot. Rebound, Northridge. Rebound, Northridge. I anticipated Stovall will be more aggressive offensively, and on the first possession, he really did a nice job trying to probe the defense and get into the paint for a shot. Lenny Daniel making a move toward the basket, and he traveled before he got the shot off. The shot went off glass. With that size, if you can get Faber into foul trouble. Well, certainly no surprise challenge for Northridge as DePaul tries to go back door and throws the ball out of bounds to play a team from a big conference to the next level and help out Bobby Braswell. But overall, I would say uh, that his scheduling makes it appealing for players to come and play for him. I mean, he's a great coach, a great teacher, great educator. So trying to have that kind of year this season, Northridge after the foul on Kelly, still with the possession. Michael Lizarraga will talk about him, the only depth player in Division I college basketball. Now the point guard, Dathan Lyles, will reset up top. 15 to shoot now for Northridge. McLemore open and knocks down the three. That was a good size up three pointer. Ready on the catch to shoot. Now McLemore was a good man to man defense against Stovall, forces him to give it up. Faber to the basket. He traveled. Well, perhaps a little but easy look. Pressure by DePaul, even off the turnover, and they don't stop the point guard, Lyles. He goes straight to the basket, and Oliver Purnell, the kid who's a star for Virginia Tech, Brandon Young, very talented as a young player. They're trying to lead this team early in his college career. Takes it into the paint, hangs up, can't get it to drop. Lizarraga saves it in bounds for McLemore. To lead this team early in his college career. Takes it into the paint, hangs up, can't get it to drop. Lizarraga saves it in bounds for McLemore. Matador is going up tempo. McLemore got fouled. McLemore should have given that up immediately. So an inbound along the sideline for Northridge. Set up the offense with a fresh shot clock. Down low and a dunk for Lenny Daniel. Beautiful. Set play from the sideline, worked to perfection. And not a good start for the Blue Demons of DePaul. Northwood looks ready to play. Stovall will shoot the three, and he knocks it down for the first three DePaul points. Down for the first three DePaul points. The made basket so important for DePaul to set up that full court press. So far, the Matadors doing a nice job in their press break. Create another open look. McLemore knocks down another three. Now, and what a difference a day makes. Their first half against Virginia Tech yesterday was not good at all. Look much crisper here today. Hill kicks back to Kelly, who thought about the three. Instead, leaves it again for Hill. No good. Offensive rebound, but two guys for DePaul had their hands on the ball. And that kicks back to Kelly, who thought about the three. Instead, leaves it again for Hill. No good. Offensive rebound, but two guys for DePaul had their hands on the ball, and that's a turnover. DePaul sets up the pressure here. Quick start for the Matadors with the baseball pass down court. And McGee, who loves the three-point bucket, knocks down a long two. Maybe too much turkey last night. 
Kenny McGee had an excellent second half against Virginia Tech, and he can get hot. He can score in bunches. 12-3 start for Northridge. Tony Freeland, another Southern California kid in traffic, gets the ball. Faber now underneath, scores with a left hand. Start for Northridge. Tony Freeland, another Southern California kid in traffic, gets the ball. Faber now underneath, scores with a left hand. Faber now underneath, scores with a left hand. That's what they need to do, utilize their size. I think Faber could be a huge offensive weapon for him. Matadors are not being phased by that pressure at all. McGee, guarded by Jimmy Drew in the game for Oliver Purnell's team. 15 to shoot, Lyles blows right by and gets it to go. Very little of that same effort today. How about the field goal shooting? Six out of six for Northridge so far. Young to the bucket. Cannot get the ball to fall. Advantage at all. He feels like he's on an even playing field with everybody else. But you know that it makes things a little tougher for Lizarraga. That are going to help him be successful later on in life. But I think even more so, his teammates are learning that from him. And it's going to make... I think even more so, his teammates are learning that from him. And it's going to make them successful in life of not stopping with the first sign of, hey, you know what, you might not be able to get there. Power through. What a role model on this team. Northridge, the early 14-6 lead after Brandon Young made one of two free throws out of the timeout. The ball movement, very crisp right now for Northridge, shifting this defense. Jack Lamore. Has a couple of threes already. Vinny McGee, an excellent three-point shooter himself. Late clock situation. Here's the point guard taking charge. Lyles has to heave up the three, and hit goes down for Dathan Lyles. Not necessarily probably the shot that he had drawn up coming out on that possession, but how it gets created. Three ball reversals that time by Northridge, making the defense go side to side, create gaps. Matadors can't miss. They're 7 of 7 from the floor. 17 points in the first five minutes. Well, Northridge not necessarily known as a great shooting team. And yet they look really solid to start this game. They've taken what they learned in the second half against Virginia Tech, and they, they have implemented it here in the early stages of this contest. Freeland goes by the freshman Jacobs out of bounds off of Tom. DePaul will inbound it. Ooh, foul. Josh Green, another freshman, knocked Jimmy Drew to the ground. And he's bleeding. And he's going to have to come out of the game. That's Again, an inbound play for DePaul. And Drew gets some attention on the bench. Brandon Young goes by McGee. Knocks the player down. Commits the offensive foul. John Hayward Mayhew there to draw the situation have gone down. Fighting early in Anaheim. That pressure from DePaul's yet to turn the ball over. They won't do it here. McGee into the front court. There's Hayward Mayu down low. Cody comes off a screen, and he knocks a Ooh. shot down. They cannot. That's a big shot for Cody. He struggled offensively yesterday. And as I said, he, he's a guy that's a confidence builder. Eight for eight shooting. Freeland gets fouled. Classic semifinal game, college basketball. Part of Peace Week presented by Lowe's on ESPNU tonight. The Georgia Temple game is going to be a good one. See how Fernandez and Allen respond. To that late run that they had against him last night by Mike Montgomery and the California Golden Bears. Freeland misses the shot. Scramble for the ball. Loose on the ground. And out of bounds off of the Matadors. So bad break. Bounds, it probably would have been a layup for DePaul. Now be careful when you're going out of bounds. You don't want to feed it right back to your opponent underneath their basket. Stovall. Back in. Jeremiah Kelly's a good shooter. If he can get some room, he'll knock down some three-pointers. No room there. Look at how far out, though, they're catching the ball. On the catch, they're nowhere near the three-point line. Snowball, long three, a little too strong. Jacobs, good defensive rebound. Ball on the catch, they're nowhere near the three-point line. Snowball, long three, a little too strong. Jacobs, good defensive rebound. 
Vinny McGee down the court. Floating, hanging, did not go, but it won't count as a missed field goal. It's on your eyes, even those fitted ones like he has. It, 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 help, it hurts your depth perception. He's got to kind of look out sideways a little bit. He'll be able to see things better. He's one of those that are thinking about going into studies to learn sign language, even though Lizaraga is going to be graduating at the end of the year. They Those two. Second free throw was good. It's 20 to 6 here in the first seven minutes. Cleveland Melvin, a freshman for DePaul. No good on the jumper. Cody comes away with the board. A big freshman class for Cal State Northridge. Ball goes off the foot of Freeland out of bounds. Northridge keeps it. This conference this year in the Big West. Very good team. Santa Barbara with Bob Williams. Coach Monson out of Long Beach State. A couple highlight teams in the Big West this year. Lenny Daniel hangs in the air. Nine for nine field goal shooting for Northridge. Almost eight minutes in, they have not missed a shot. You know, two guys going out with the, the head button. The, the references to boxing, this is a lot like Margarito and Pacquiao. No one's been knocked out yet, but certainly Northridge is Pacquiao and DePaul is Margarito. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a little lopsided early. Blue Demons ball. Five to shoot, Stovall, contested shot, and an air ball, out of bounds. McLemore comes out. Alan Giles comes back in for Bobby Braswell's club. Leading 22-6 to six with the ball. Foul away for the ball, a holding call against DePaul. Edwin McGee called for the foul. Well, Northridge can't out of the net and inbounded. Well, and conversely, they're not hitting shots, so they can't even set up their press like they really want to. Now well, that's the easiest one of all. Ten for ten from the field. That was just uncontested, a missed assignment. Just slicing up the Blue Demons right now. This is an offensive clinic. Faber finds Stula, who gives a little shot fake and then loses the handle. Lizaraga just took it right from him. The jump ball again. Especially coming off of the way that they performed in the first half yesterday against Virginia Tech. They might have grown up a lot in that second half, more so than, than we, even, we even thought that they did. Today. It's a team that has some pieces. They have some weapons. McLemore is one of them. And there's finally a missed shot. From three, doesn't go. That's the first one of the game. To go. That's the first one of the game for Northridge. Nine minutes into the game before they finally miss their first shot. Devin Hill working in the post area gets fouled from Virginia Tech in the second half yesterday. Yeah, he really attacked the glass, went after the rebounds, but today offensively, his footwork, his, his pinning, his ceiling, his effort has been exactly what you anticipated before the start of the season. And if he can play at a maintained high level, they have a chance at the Big West. Well, Sean was describing it's a very competitive conference this year. Brandon Young hanging in the air, has the shot knocked away. Conference player of the year. Now there's other guys that are going to put their name in the hopper. Orlando Johnson being the returning conference player of the year from Santa Barbara certainly would have something to say about that. Jeremiah Kelly, bad pass, looking for Faber. Daniel has it knocked away, the scramble. Here's Lyles, dishes to Liz. Certainly would have something to say about that. Jeremiah Kelly, bad pass, looking for Faber. Daniel has it knocked away, the scramble. Here's Lyles, dishes to Lizaraga, he gets fouled. Northridge is up by 20. First one is good. Looking for DePaul. And less than 20 minutes into this game, less than 10 minutes into this game, 20 point lead for Northridge. Now how can this young team play with this kind of lead? Can they keep this pressure up? Great teams keep the throttle completely down. Moses Morgan, no good, short of a jump shot. Here comes North. Pressure up. Great teams keep the throttle completely down. Moses Morgan, no good, short of a jump shot. Here comes Northridge again. Lyles all the way to the basket. Reverse <laughs> layup. He hit another gear when he got at the free throw line. He shoved it down. 
in the fifth and able to get to the basket before anyone could react. 28 to 6. Now Hill with a missed shot. Favors sticks it back in. Man, did they need that. Get to the basket before anyone could react. 28 to 6. Now Hill with a missed shot. Favors sticks it back in. Man, did they need that. Shot Favors sticks it back in. Man, did they need that. But again, the pressure just not effective. Cody out of the pressure. McLemore down low. Daniel has it knocked away out of bounds. Only keep up with Lyles, and Lyles just blew right by him. Part of this unbelievable start. A foul, though, away from the ball for an illegal screen. They're going to call John Hayward. Brandon Young on the perimeter. Jeremiah Kelly has not been able to get a shot off yet. Freshman from Las Vegas, Moses Morgan with the ball. Ten to shoot for DePaul. Kelly, bounce pass, good catch by Favor, and he scores. And see Favors. Catch by Favor, and he scores. And see Favor is the guy that really causes a lot of difficulties for the Matadors. They got to play through him. Timeout Northridge for the first time really all game the DePaul and play it like they're at home here in this game with the big early lead against DePaul McLemore again aggressive to the basket scores he mentioned they feel the tournament has been now it moves this year down the road to the Honda Center uh, but this is the building this is the court that they're used to playing on when it comes to championship week so perhaps that comfort level is paying off they're up 20 but under nine minutes to go first half. Brandon Young on the perimeter. Ten to shoot for DePaul. Kelly passed up the three, passes it out of bounds. Well, Kelly's been a little hesitant. He should have taken the shot as well because he overpenetrated and threw it away. McGee wants to clear out and just wants to work against the pressure himself. Frankie Etawati, a freshman from here in L.A., into the game. He'll catch the ball down low and makes a move with the left hand. Nice big roll. Down low by the freshman. He needs to put a little bulk on. He needs to gain some weight, but he's got skills. Way too strong on that jump shot. McLemore put a little bulk on. He needs to gain some weight, but he's got skills. Way too strong on that jump shot. McLemore looking down the court. Green over the top. Daniel, great catch with the foul. <laughs> okay. Lenny Daniel, a chance to complete a three-point play at the free throw line out of the timeout. And even that gets the friendly roll. I figured out they have missed a shot. They're 14 out of 15 from the field. That is remarkable. It's, it's staggering right now, the numbers. They've yet to miss, by the way, a shot inside the three-point arc. Their only miss was from three-point line. This is uh, as good as any team I, I've ever seen shoot the ball through this stretch. A foul as Freeland was made. When I was at UCLA, we had a six seed taking on the Maryland Terrapins, who were a three, and we overwhelmed them in that contest. Uh, DePaul looks overwhelmed right now. On the Maryland Terrapins, who were a three, and we overwhelmed them in that contest. Uh, DePaul looks overwhelmed right now. Giles will take it with the left hand jam. That was a great outlet pass by DePaul to Northridge yeah. to set that up. A, a dunk for free, basically. Drew passed up the three back in the game after getting, we think, stitches on the side of his head. Freeland triple teamed and the shot blocked by Etiwadi. Here's Vinny McGee. Pass tipped out of bounds. Northridge keeps the ball. This last for Northridge and the completion was beautiful. Thirty-seven to ten. Josh Green, little floater. That was a tough shot. He comes up short. First comes up short. First miss from two-point range of the game with 6.45 to go in a half. Morgan, one dribble, pull up, good. Up, good. A little bit of a flow right there from Morgan. And 
better offensive possession, but the breaking of the press has just really impressed me by Northrop. Just without a problem at all, basically. They created some havoc, DePaul did yesterday against Oklahoma State. Giles shoots along two, and that one's good. He kind of thought about that one for a second. Giles shoots along two, and that one's good. He kind of thought about that one for a second, too. Like, yeah, should I shoot this one? Why not? Mortgage feeling it himself. <laughs> Swatted away by Lenny Daniel. We need some of those beach volleyball scenes from over coast side. Inbound play for DePaul. Lenny Daniel, you just saw why he led the Big West in blocks last year. And that rotation from the help side was the most impressive aspect of that play. The defensive intensity overall for Northridge is just been there from the start. Morgan open, shoots the three, no good. Daniel gets another rebound. Michael Lizarraga on the low block. He's got a size advantage. He scores. Feeling where the defensive player was behind him. Dumped down to Freeland, tried to dunk, got fouled. Probably should have game of this tournament against Virginia Tech. Survived a very close game with Oklahoma State earlier today. Freeland, close game with Oklahoma State earlier today. Freeland knocks down both free throws. Look at that field goal shooting, 89% for Northridge. Nathan Lyles playing a very solid oh. first half. Making DePaul look bad with his ball handling and setting up Michael Lizarraga who misses from close in. Lizarraga from close in. Lizarraga wanted that one. They're getting greedy. Freeland knocked away and diving for the loose ball. But it goes to Paul's way. Lyles with a good hustle. It just did not get the Matador's possession. Freeland long two. Way too strong. Kelly, he's going to take that. Matador's possession. Freeland long two. Way too strong. Kelly, he's going to take that open. Possession. Freeland long two. Way too strong. Kelly, he's going to take that open look. No good again. They're really in the first half here. Don't mistake activity for achievement. And DePaul has been active, but they haven't achieved a whole lot. McLemore, that's an NBA range three. Too strong. So the Matador is starting to miss some shots. To miss some shots. But DePaul is so far behind, they got to make a bunch just to get back in this game. And Bobby Braswell quick to let him know that Rashawn, let Rashawn know that that wasn't the shot that they wanted to take. A little give and go play, except the Blue Demons travel. Turnover. His numbers for Northridge. They continue, even with a couple of misses. Continue to be gaudy. 17 of 21. Best they've ever shot, by the way, in a game is 71 percent. And that was against Redlands back in 2006. They don't have numbers for the half. It's getting on the glass. It's funny, you look at his numbers. He's only got two rebounds. That's second best in this game. Very balanced score sheet. Out of bounds to a timeout. All Northridge so far. For the Matadors for the Big West Conference. Against DePaul of the Big East. Lenny Daniel just back in the game. Scores again. Hit under the back line of the defense. A nice shape up and a great delivery of the pass. 11 points to lead everybody in this first half. Miles with the assist. Now a missed three for DePaul. Rebound. Daniels finally comes away with it. Daniels finally comes away with it. Cody cut off there. Looking for someone to go with the ball. Turns it over. Stovall. Cody cut off there. Looking for someone to go with the ball. Turns it over. Stovall on the breakout. Dumps it down for the easy look. Great decision by Stovall that time. Stovall that time. If he went up, 
Daniel was going to send that one back into the bleachers again. And when McGee scores his first bucket of the game, uh, and he's a player, he doesn't even have the, his name on the back of his jersey. So Oliver Purnell is going deep into the bench to try to find anybody to be productive. Now a whistle. And a three-second violation. Play loose, be yourself, and be aggressive. And that's what they really need. Someone with some energy and some spark out on the floor. Long three. Kelly misses. McLemore stepped out. Line and good job by the officials being right on top of it. Blue Demons ball inbounding underneath the basket. Stovall. Nobody other than Faber has more than a bucket. Faber's got six. He's got the ball right there. Foul reaching over by Etawadi. Strong with the ball. And Cleveland Melvin is one of those. Free throw, good. You know, the biggest thing, he's strong, but he's wiry, and he needs to get bulk up a little bit if he's going to play inside the Big East and be a physical presence. Not too much, though, because you got to remember the style inside the Big East and be a physical presence. Not too much, though, because you got to remember the style of play in which they have at DePaul. They want to get up and down. Makes them both. Feels like a big couple of minutes here at the end of the half for DePaul if they want to have a chance in the second half to make this a game. See if they can't cut into this lead before halftime. McLemore contested. Favor with a rebound. Extra pass to Stovall. Young gives it up. And there's Melvin baseline. DePaul's just not making shots even when they get stops. Stops. That's a travel. Not called that way. Here's McLemore again down the lane. Daniel keeps the ball alive. I mean, isn't this a completely different Lenny Daniel? Here's McLemore again down the lane. Daniel keeps the ball alive. I mean, isn't this a completely different Lenny Daniel than we? Here's McLemore again down the lane. Daniel keeps the ball alive. I mean, isn't this a completely different Lenny Daniel than we saw yesterday? Active at both ends of the floor, Dave. Yeah, remarkable. When he plays this hard, he's tough. Bobby Braswell getting animated on the sideline, trying to help his team get a little organized on the offensive end. He knows his knows his young team might fall into the trap of believing that this game is over. A lot of basketball still left to play. Daniel with a great move goes right by for the dunk. It has been a highlight first half for Lenny Daniel and his Northridge teammates. Under a minute to play in a first half that cannot end quickly enough for DePaul. Stovall hangs and snow did not go. Faber puts it back with the foul. Stovall quickly enough for DePaul. Stovall hangs and snow did not go. Faber puts it back with the foul. Stovall be a tiny bright spot for him as he completes the three-point play because he is here from Southern California. He's working hard here in the first half. 24-point lead for the Matadors with the ball. And there is about a seven second difference between about a six second difference between game clock and shot clock now whistles and it, i think there was on what has been a spectacular northridge first half frankie edawati has oh. got to be careful with those elbows and he loses the ball he did get fouled well, he got bailed out if Lenny Daniel could get that freeze frame we just showed you, he'd blow that up into a poster. Take it to Costco, put it on one of those cardboard back cardboard backboards. Good idea for a Christmas gift for Lenny. Well, you can buy it for him, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> might, be I, an, might be an extra benefit, though, so, so don't do that. Yeah, we're not that tight, I have to say. <laughs> DePaul shot clock off, down 24. Uh, get the last look here. 
but they have to get a shot off. Young, wildly out of control, offensive foul. They can't even get a shot off. 25-21. It's been unbelievable. A final heave. McLemore comes up way short, but Northridge has a lot to shooting percentage 50 percentage points different Northridge a much better offensive half than DePaul they did everything better than DePaul we'll see if the Blue Demons can respond in any way for the final 20 minutes DePaul does get the first possession of the half Brandon Young really never got to go into the first half they'll go into Freeland who starts the half and scores he is not a starter They'll go into Freeland who starts the half and scores. He is not a starter. So a lineup change And the pressure generates a turnover for the first He is not a starter. So a lineup change And the pressure generates a turnover for the first time in the game young gets foul. So that is it's a tiny start. Adversity and adversity is a nice way of putting what that first half was for him. It was all that as the free throw is no good and Brandon Young is well against Oklahoma State he has not found his rhythm in this building makes one of two State he has not found his rhythm in this building makes one of two the second make allows him to set up that trap and they do trap Nathan Lyles who just gets out of it still not across midcourt still not out of the weeds they get bailed out with a foul call against DePaul double they're down by 24 at the break Foul went against Freeland. So the Matadors get it into the front court for the first time in the half. McLemore has it stripped away. DePaul's defense, no McLemore has it stripped away. DePaul's defense noticeably better in the last minute. Kelly for three, too strong. Those are going to have to go down for DePaul to have a chance. For DePaul to have a chance. They can have all the defensive pressure in the world, but if Lenny Daniel keeps dunking at home, just a beautiful entry pass and Daniel his pinning and sealing today creating the lane for the guards to dump it down to him has been impressive 15 points he hasn't missed a shot seven of seven from the field favor the best offensive player in the first half for DePaul misses one Daniel tips the ball to Liz Daniel tips the ball to Lizarraga he trails the play it starts the offense for Northridge. He's going to flame through Lenny Daniel. One on one, spin move, shot was rejected, but he gets fouled after he picked up the loose ball. On either side, who's in double figures. That is one area that he needs the aggressive. Well, and especially if he continues to struggle the line, you just start implementing a little bit of that hack a shack type defensive philosophy. Defensive philosophy and on the catch when he starts to go towards the hoop just rake him across his arms make him earn it He did make the second one though the ball with the ball Moses Morgan had some moments in that first half freshman from Las Vegas Morgan cutting to the basket blocking foul is upset he thought that for it, but if you're Bobby Braswell, you'd like the effort out of Lizarraga. New shot clock for DePaul. Faber throws it away. Looking for Hill cutting the basket. By Kelly out. Well, the energy level has certainly changed here in the second half in favor of DePaul. Had lots of cuts, some stitches. Cody pull up jumper almost got the roll but there's Daniel again for the chance Cody pull up jumper almost got the roll but there's Daniel again for the chance for the three rounds a block shot now six rebounds after that one eight of nine from the field make it 19 points for Lenny Daniel Better ball movement by DePaul, but not yet creating an open look. Drew will shoot one from deep. Way too strong. Faber, no good. Freeland is good. Starting to see a little bit more.
Paul, but not yet creating an open look. Drew will shoot one from deep. Way too strong. Faber, no good. Freeland is good. We're starting to see a little bit more. Creating an open look. Drew will shoot one from deep. Way too strong. Faber, no good. Freeland is good. We're starting to see no good. Freeland is good. We're starting to see a little bit more bounce in the legs of the Blue Demons at the offensive end of the floor. Lyles to Mac Lamore. Layup against the pressure. Play. Great shooting from the Roman running Rebels could be the difference maker for Long Kruger squad. A remarkable score here. Cal State Northridge up on DePaul 53 to 26. Great defense keeping it trapped on that sideline. Don't foul here if you're Cody. And they did not blow the whistle even though Stula fell to the ground. But 10 to shoot. And the Matadors defense has been almost as impressive as their offense. Well, and they've done it in different ways. They, you know, they've gone to the man-to-man, -man, which is what they're in right now. They've played the 2-3 zone. It seems like whatever Bobby Braswell has drawn up today, his team has executed. Morgan has to heave up a prayer. Faber does get the offensive rebound. And he got away with a 2-3 zone. It seems like whatever Bobby Braswell has drawn up today, his team has executed. Morgan has to heave up a prayer. Faber does get the offensive rebound. And he got away with a push. A prayer. Faber does get the offensive rebound. And he got away with a push. Lizarraga got pushed in the back. Cody to the trailer. Daniel couldn't get it to go. But again, he'll go to the free. And they've executed as if they've already had some practice and some extra shots up. Daniel looks better on that free throw release. Second one for Daniel. Also good. So he looks better all of a sudden at the free throw line. 16 minutes to play. I mean, DePaul, that's a lot of time, but they, they got to play with some urgency if they have any chance to make this close. His team played with such great effort, yeah. such great passion for the game, and today it just seems like all the life that they played with yesterday has been sucked out of them before they even showed up on the court. And who knows, maybe Northridge making all those shots early. They didn't miss until several minutes into the game. Kelly turns it over with a five-second violation. Maybe that was that was the key of that discussion I guarantee it Michael probably didn't need the discussion I, I imagine he had a pretty good idea of what Braswell wanted to say they say sometimes at practice when he misses a layup or something and he knows that he did something wrong he'll he'll turn away from coach Braswell <laughs> because he, he doesn't want to hear it uh, if he can't see him he can't hear him there you go good solution hear him there you go good solution Blue Demons on offense here. Freeland spin move, triple team, nowhere to go. Block shot for the Demons on offense here. Freeland spin move, triple team, nowhere to go. Block shot for the Matadors. Here comes Dathan Lyles. No look to Lenny Daniel. Misses the short one. Stays with it. Gets the putback. No, another effort. And Lenny <laughs> Daniel. The Matadors. Here comes Dathan Lyles. No look to Lenny Daniel. Misses the short one. Stays with it. Gets the putback. No, another effort. And Lenny <laughs> Daniel. Nathan Lyles. No look to Lenny Daniel. Misses the short one. Stays with it. Gets the putback. No, another effort. And Lenny <laughs> Daniel. No look to Lenny Daniel. Misses the short one. Stays with it. Gets the putback. No, another effort. And Lenny <laughs> Daniel. Back up by 29. They have a chance to expand the lead. DePaul, though, with the possession. Brandon Young scoops it in. Young scoops it in. Lyles again quickly down the court. McLemore blows right by the defense. DePaul at their own game. Fifty nine to thirty that shooting percentage has actually come down, but they're still just below 70% for the game And a lot of looks like the last one they got just easy Young from the elbow area has two straight buckets freshman McGee saves it in, but the ball's loose on the floor. Lyles trying to hustle for it. DePaul comes away. They get to the turnover. 
McGee saves it in, but the ball's loose on the floor. Lyles trying to hustle for it. DePaul comes away. They get the turnover, and Young is fouled as he was looking to pass. The pressure is always your most effective way to beat it. And Adidas have had a really nice scheme against DePaul's press. Led to a lot of transition buckets. Stovall's been quiet on the perimeter for DePaul. Tough little shot, but he gets the friendly roll. Tough little shot, but he gets the friendly roll. Senior from Chicago with a bucket there. Bad pass by the freshman Etawadi. Senior from Chicago with a bucket there. Bad pass by the freshman Etawadi, who looks to his bench. He knew he'd done a, a bad thing. Etawadi, who looks to his bench. He knew he'd done a, a bad thing. But a turnover right back, and McGee will take it all the way. You know, I don't blame Etawadi on that as much as pass. You can't sit there on your heels and wait for it. That ended up working out well for Northridge. Keel Quinn is in the game for the Matadors. We haven't seen him yet. Another rejection underneath the back. More good Northridge defense. And Wadi, very long arm freshman, the volleyball player. He's an outstanding volleyball player in high school. In the Big West. Right. I think you're right. He's got a chance. The potential is there for him to be a special kind of player. He has the ball at the top of the key. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Gets it off to the upperclassmen. Vinny McGee calls out of play. Quinn gets fouled by Kelly, the hand check foul. You mentioned it, those early shots. How much did that deflate what the Blue Demons thought they were going to do today? Well, whether it deflated them or not, I mean, if, if you're in a boxing match and someone knocks you down, you better get off the mat. And they had not gotten off the mat as of yet. I mean, we've got 12.32 left to go. And Any moment have they let their foot off the gas pedal. They have still remain the aggressive team. How much did his team mature in the second half? He said, we're going to find out tomorrow. I sure wish we could put two halves together. We haven't done that all season long. And so far, they've put together. He felt like at Cal, they played at Cal, at UCLA, lost both those games in the early part of the season. But he did feel like in each of those games, there was a half where Northridge was real competitive. Well, a, a very similar recipe to what we saw why they were a lack of success yesterday against Virginia Tech was their turnovers and they had 27 turnovers against UCLA and kind of got overwhelmed a little bit by the environment at Cal pretty nice move by Brandon Young at Cal pretty nice move by Brandon Young he's come to life on offense for DePaul well, the Matadors have only nine turnovers so far in this game, even against that helter-skelter pressure. Vinny McGee with some good ball handling. Well, you set up your offense, you swing it, get some good ball reversal. Nice back cut. Well, Quinn was available, a little frustrated he didn't get the pass. You make a cut like that, you expect to get the ball. There's nothing between him and the rim. McGee, a little shot fake. Spins back to reset with 10 to shoot. Tip play, no good. Young will track it down. Tip play, no good. Young will track it down. Tip play, no good. Young will track it down. They need quick baskets. The three-point look, in and out. Stovall gets his own miss, though. And they need quick baskets. The three-point look, in and out. Stovall gets his own miss, though. They need quick baskets. The three-point look, in and out. Stovall gets his own miss, though, and goes right to the basket. And Awadi swats it away. Good, though, this time with the foul for the freshman this year. One shy of his career high. He's back in the game right now as Melvin misses the chance for the three-point play. And Daniel, Daniel gets the rebound. 
but it's a good Big West Conference this year. You know, Bob Williams has done such a great job up at Santa Barbara, returns all five stars, including Orlando Johnson, originally a freshman at LMU, transferred out, has found success at Santa Barbara, a great deal of success at Santa Barbara. So they, they have really high expectations, expect to be back in the thick of things and a chance to go to the NCAA. Tip play by Brandon Santa Barbara, a great deal of success at Santa Barbara. So they, they have really high expectations, expect to be back in the thick of things and a chance to go to the NCAA. Tip play by Brandon Young and with the Barbara. So they, they have really high expectations, expect to be back in the thick of things and a chance to go to the NCAA. Tip play by Brandon Young and with the left hand, can't get it to go, but the follow by his to the NCAA. Tip play by Brandon Young and with the left hand can't get it to go but the follow by his fellow freshman Cleveland Bell. Young and with the left hand can't get it to go but the follow by his fellow freshman Cleveland Melvin. Best bright spot so far of the day was that play right there for DePaul. Melvin didn't give up on it. The freshman didn't anticipate that Brandon Young was going to make it and able to throw it down. He's going to play a lot. He's going to earn more minutes. Oh yeah. As the season goes on, his minutes are going to continue to increase. But going back to the Big West, Long Beach State, too. Dan Munson has got a great, talented, athletic team. McLemore, reverse layup, good. They're going to figure in. Now Long Beach already has some impressive performances this year. Beat I like, Iowa. I like Pacific. Yeah. I think Pacific's team is solid again. Sam Willard has come out of the gates, putting up big numbers. Bob Thomason, the dean of the Big West. That's what we call it, the dean of the Big West. He's been around longer than any coach and oh, always has a great program. Fundamental. A couple of shooters out on the perimeter. And, of course, Bobby Braswell's team, they, they play this well. There's going to be a lot of teams. Irvine's improved this year. There are a lot of teams that are getting better. Daniel misses a chance for a new career high. Coach Turner. Coach Turner down at uh, Irvine in his first year in as a head coach. I think he's got a, the ability to recruit. He's very focused on how he's going to build that program, but I still think they're a year or two away. Yeah, Russell Turner. He is. doors from Northridge with a 24 point lead on DePaul. Still nine minutes plus to go. Brandon Young's played a lot better of late. Nice move. Making a program that's fallen on some hard times and turning it around. Well, one way you turn it around, too, is updating facilities and new offices, new weight room. Those are little things that will help in the recruiting process. Back for more uncontested to the basket. That's not going to help change the culture. You can't allow guys to dribble in from the baseline and have no one else around them. Layups. Sean McLemore with 16. Nice performance for him today. Cleveland Melvin in and out. Tip ball to Dathan Lyles. Looking down court, waiting for Lenny Daniel to join him. And Northridge will set up some offense. It is a great opportunity for Northridge, too, to work on their sets in real life game action. Alley oop kind of play. Daniel gets blocked. He'll go to the free throw line. Not maybe the class open guy. That's the second option. You've got to be able to find that and recognize that as a point guard. Almost like a quarterback. There is a check down on yep. every play. 7 to 42. But in a tight game in, in Big West Conference play when teams know your stuff real well, you've got to look for that and make sure you hit it. A game to remember for Lenny Daniel. 25 points. Brandon Young spinning around, offensive foul, he pushed off. Young, a kid from Baltimore, we talked about that and how many great players have come out of Baltimore, but I think we just heard a moment ago from Oliver Purnell about rebuilding DePaul. I think he wants to do it with Chicago. No, oh, and one of the first things he did when he arrived on campus, make sure he reached out to that local community. People, coaches, high school coaches to understand that he's there to, to change the culture and he wants to rebuild the image. Very similar to what Steve Lavin's having to do in New York and trying to keep New York kids home. Oliver Purnell wants to keep Chicago kids home. Yeah, the, the, the same kind of challenge for each of those programs. Maybe the two best high schools, much the same team as they have this season, beat Vanderbilt in the NCAA tournament, then almost knocked off eventual. But a real challenge, UNLV, one of the better teams on the West Coast. Well, and the other thing about Murray State is, is they know how to control tempo of basketball games. They, that's, they, they're a well-schooled, well-coached, disciplined basketball team that understands the kind of tempo that they need to play to be successful. 
Foul called as Faber makes a move. You know, I watched them like the clock situation so calm and under control. That's funny. The, the name is the Racers. I mean, the Murray State Racers. And they're anything but the opposite. I mean, they they really they'll look for the transition, but if they don't have it, they're gonna they're gonna make you play some defense. They're gonna get some good ball reversal, and they're fine shooting shots with three seconds left, two seconds left to go on the shot clock. Stovall from the free throw line area. With three seconds left, two seconds left to go on the shot clock. Stovall from the free throw line area. Another pretty easy press break for Northridge. It's simple. They get the ball into Lyles and immediately throw that diagonal pass every time. And no adjustments being made for DePaul as far as getting back and trying to cut that pass off. McLemore baseline with the foul. And he's impressed. Yes. No, McLemore. Had a chance to be one of the best players in the Big West Conference. Well, you can see though, e even though the media poll did not look fondly upon Northridge, why Bobby Braswell is more than confident in this group. By the time they get to January, the health is better. They understood. By the time they get to January, the health is better. They understand how to play with each other. You're starting to see some growth and development just in the last two days here in Anaheim. Cody fumbles the ball away, gets it back though. As it poked away again, but out of bounds, the Matadors keep it. To me, that's a problem. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to be the strongest guy on the court, but you can't just fumble the ball all the way down the court. On the inbound play, McLemore contested, short. Daniel rebounded, he was fouled. The great one-two punch that they have. You know? On the inbound play, McLemore contested, short. Daniel rebounded, he was fouled. A great one-two punch. The picked up his fourth foul. Double bonus for Northridge from here on in. Headliners for Northridge, and then some nice role players as well. Some depth. Sophomores, hopefully by February. That's what coaches always look for. How how the freshmen progress as to this as the season goes on. Foul is Stovall. Dribbling against Lyles. Reach in foul. Front end of the one and one. Good for Stovall. The local team, DePaul. But I think Oliver Purnell is looking for the high school All American kind of kids. They're the who every single year come out of that great basketball city. Things you know about Chicago kids, they're, all, they're always tough, too. There's McLemore. That was a little more spectacular. I like that one better than the muscle flexing one. Yeah, he could have celebrated after that one. Had to get back on defense, though. Freeland way too short. Good box out by Michael Lizarraga. Under six to play. Northridge could be a little more deliberate, perhaps, unless Lyles could just go all the way. Well, here's the thing to remember, too. Last year, Butler was in this. A little more deliberate, perhaps, unless Lyles could just go all the way. Well, here's the thing to remember, too. Last year, Butler was in this tournament. Deliberate, perhaps, unless Lyles could just go all the way. Well, here's the thing to remember, too. Last year, Butler was in this tournament. They went one for two. Here in Anna, yeah, you know, you know they, they, one and two. They went one for two here in Anna, yeah, you know, you know they, they one and two in their three games. So, as bad as things look like right now for DePaul, we still get out of here with the win tomorrow, and that's got to be the focus right away. Build on the positives, keep moving forward. Daniel collects another rebound. He's got a double to win tomorrow, and that's got to be the focus right away. Build on the positives, keep moving forward. Daniel collects another rebound. He's got oh, and that's got to be the focus right away. Build on the positives. Keep moving forward. Daniel collects another rebound. He's got a double-double. 26 and 10 for Lenny Daniel. McGee to Daniel. Again with the foul. Well, he passed his career high. 20-plus point scorers. For Bobby Braswell's club. He does get the three point play. It 
also means that Northridge has its biggest lead of the game. Nice pass from Young to Melvin. Freshman to freshman. Northridge has its biggest lead of the game. Nice pass from Young to Melvin. Freshman to freshman for the bucket. Now numbers for the Matadors, and there were two guys there. That, that was what's created the turnover. Morgan way offline with that jump shot. Morgan way offline with that jump shot. Miles to Daniel, and he's got 31 today. Sergeant passing him by, and they won't look to maybe take him out and put somebody else in. Final four minutes. Let him get a nice milestone and then sit the rest of it out. Hill with the hook shot. Bobby Brown. Let him get a nice milestone and then sit the rest of it out. Hill with the hook shot. Bobby Brazel right now, though, not pointing to anybody on his bench. Tell you what, the, the press break for Northridge has been almost the exact same every single possession of this game. And DePaul just has not made an adjustment to it. There's a steal by Hill. He's going to look to take it all the way. And DePaul just has not made an adjustment to it. There's a steal by Hill. He's going to look to take it all the way for the two-hand slam. And he fits perfectly in this city. He's going to look to take it all the way for the two-hand slam. And he fits perfectly in this system, and we haven't been able to see a lot of that kind of athleticism today as one would expect, but Devin Hill able to get the steal and then go to the across the country in Northridge. And Wendy Daniel is going to sit down as well, so you can close the book on him most likely. 31 points. Outstanding effort. The, the way he did it was equally impressive. Here comes that press break again. Dathan Lyles, a little hesitation move, and then just weaves through. Hill recovered for the block. Lizaraga, second chance, gets it to go. You see why Lizaraga has break again. Dathan Lyles, a little hesitation move, and then just weaves through. Hill recovered for the block. Lizaraga, second chance, gets it to go. You see why Lizaraga hesitation move and then just weaves through Hill recovered for the block Lizaraga second chance gets it to go you see why Lizaraga has worked his, his way into the type of role that he has for Northridge he's got a motor just keeps going and keeps keep fighting he's a scrapper and you know, he needs somebody like he has for Northridge he's got a motor just keeps going and keep, keep fighting he's a scrapper and you know, he needs somebody like that Young with the finish on the breakout, and Brandon Young's got 14 points in this game. 13 of those in the second half. He's had a better second half. Yeah, I would be surprised, by the way, if we see Northridge break a press and, and look for an easy layup for the remaining three minutes of this game. I think they break the press, set it up, and establish your offense, work the shot clock down. Lyles, a little teardrop attempt. Hill with another defensive rebound. Defensive rebound. Cleveland Melvin. Morgan shot. Little push shot good. Morgan shot. Little push shot good. Another one of those freshmen that they're looking for moving forward to be one of those frame builders for the house that Oliver Purnell wants to build at DePaul. And the, the young group get a chance to play some extended minutes in a blowout game. Going to be a blowout win for Northridge against DePaul. Zaraga avoids the charge and scores. Now he's hurting on the floor. 24 0 on the road at Alabama. And that shakes up a lot of things when it looks at the BCS and how those bowl projections. Uh, it, it sort of brings some chaos to the entire process. The, the team's probably most stinging. As uh, Young misses the spin move there on offense for DePaul. Dated TCU, both hoping for a chance to play for the national championship, and neither may get that chance now. Yeah, but for them, they'll still at least be in the BCS mix. Stanford might be on the outside looking in. It could easily be one of the top four teams in all of the country this year. Yeah, Boise, I think, uh, depending on how those final BCS standings line up, they could miss the BCS entirely. Would that be something if Boise and Stanford both were out of the BCS?
here in college basketball. When they played out and for the long end this year down in Houston, the national championship at the Final Four. Stula to the basket. You're coming up next on ESPNU. Following this game, B Sweet continuing the 2010 Old Spice Classic from Orlando, Georgia, and Temple. Next on ESPNU, keep it right here. That's a good matchup. Temple, a ranked team. Georgia, I think, a, a sleeper team in the SEC. I think Georgia is one of those teams that just continues to get better. Coach Fox doing such a great job down there. Quinn to Etawadi, missed the layup. Stick back, blocked. Stula comes away with it, and now he's fouled. Doing such a great job down there. Quinn to Etawadi, missed the layup. Stick back, blocked. Stula comes away with it, and now he's fouled. Quinn to Etawadi, missed the layup. Stick back, blocked. Stula comes away with it, and now he's fouled. Their Sunday contest because this is this is inexcusable for him. You can make mistakes, but you can't lack it. Throttle them. Well, DePaul will play the loser of Stanford Tulsa, which is the late game tonight here in Anaheim. Play the loser of Stanford Tulsa, which is the late game tonight here in Anaheim. Could be the final possession of the game, depending on how it plays out here. Just a fraction of a second difference between game clock and shot clock. The Matadors may be content to just let some clock work off here. Get this game over and celebrate what's a real nice win for their program. No matter how down DePaul is, it's a Big East team. Etawadi, reverse layup, he scores. And see, that's why I think he has tremendous this upside you know slight as he is he does have a good feel and a good basketball IQ they will count that three-point bucket at the